Very worrying situation in the state of Kerala. The festive week of Onam has led to a huge spike in COVID cases in the state. Believe this, over 31,000 fresh infections have been recorded in a matter of 24 hours in a single day. That's the biggest upsurge in over three months now in Kerala. The state is contributing now to over 64% of India's new cases. A lot of politics that's playing out over this. The BJP blaming the Pinarayi Vijayan government for this case explosion. Kerala is staring at a COVID emergency. A scary surge in recent days has been contributing to over 50% of India's COVID infections. On Wednesday, Kerala broke its own record after it reported over 31,000 fresh cases in just a single day. This was the highest single-day spike in the last three months. That's not the only scary part. COVID positivity ratio in the state also inched closer to the 20% mark. In the last seven days, India's positivity rate has been hovering around 1.8%, while Kerala saw a positivity rate of 16.6%. The BJP has blamed the Pinarayi Vijayan government for the surge. Kerala government has been selective in allowing congregations for Bakrid and enforcing some sort of lockdown as far as other festivals are concerned. The kind of cases that are coming from Kerala point out to the overall mismanagement, skewed priorities, not enforcing the protocols adequately. And Kerala government must be questioned on it because India is suffering because of how Pinarayi Vijayan's government is handling COVID at the moment. The Kerala government has rejected the charges. In many states run by the BJP, when the government is bent to hide the actual number and minimize the tests, the government of Kerala is duty-bound and keen to see that maximum number of people are tested and the reporting should be 100% perfect. That is the Kerala model. Data shows on July 21st, following the Bakrid festivities, within a week, cases rose sharply. Similarly, in August, soon after the relaxation for Onam, the state once again saw a significant rise in its COVID tally. Once hailed for its containment efforts, the Kerala model is now facing intense scrutiny. With Gopi Krishnan Unnitan in Tiruvannandaburam, Bureau Report, India Today. And let me take this across this morning to Gopi Krishnan Unnitan, who's joining us live from Tiruvannandaburam with the latest updates. Gopi, good morning. Very worrying what's really playing out currently in Kerala. And you know, we've been seeing that for the last few months at least, Kerala has been the worst affected. However, the fact that it's crossed 30,000 now, the daily case count, is something that's a huge matter of concern. What's really going wrong? You know, has there been any sort of analysis by the government on why there is such an uptick in cases? Well, Akshita, it, it's absolutely right to point out that the situation in Kerala is quite alarming considering the daily case tally. And not just that, even if you look at the TPR, the test positivity rate situation is quite uh, or the condition in Kerala is really, really worrying because the TPR in Kerala is now re and nearing the 20% mark, which is an extremely dangerous uh, condition to be. And the daily case tally has now crossed uh, 31,000 daily reporting. The last time 30,000 or more cases were reported was in May this year. That was actually during the uh, mid of a uh, second wave in the entire country. Now, this uh, this uh, fresh surge is actually being attributed to the Onam relaxations because Onam the festival just concluded the last week in Kerala. And even during the Onam season, the government had actually given relaxations, though they were actually stipulating uh, certain conditions, including first dose of vaccination, COVID-19 native certificate, or being recovered from COVID in the last 30 days. We actually presume that, that the, those re, uh, restrictions or those conditions were not really followed on the ground. At least that is what, what we could see on the ground. 
during the very final days of Ponam. And that is exactly what the experts are also attributing this to, because the cases, the daily case load, the TPR, the active case load, all these three factors are really, really alarming in Kerala. But experts are also pointing out another factor on the other side that the hospitality ratio, the hospital and the ICU beds and ventilator occupancy ratio is still within the state's actual threshold is what the experts are hoping. And they actually feel that majority of the cases right. could actually be breakthrough cases which are people who have already been vaccinated. You know, a lot of questions about whether this is the third wave that's currently hit Kerala. We'll be tracking the latest on this and getting the latest reactions from the government as well. For the moment, Gopi, thank you for joining us.